everyone, Carrie here with PMC Supplies, and this here is the Smart Pro Gem I 1. All right, we have a box in a box. You'll see that this comes in a nice, soft, yet firm box for you. It's got a sleek black design. Let's open it up. And inside is your Gem I 1 and your user manual. So this here is going to help you determine what gemstones you are working with. You can see that we have a meter here that will tell you different types of gems, and it will also let you know if what you have is a real diamond or not. We also have a plate here that you can use to set your gemstones on. There's four different sizes for you. There's a couple other things in here. One is the wire, so you can plug this in if you want, but as you can see, this is a handy traveling case. You can also put batteries in the back, three AAA batteries. We're not going to use batteries today, but you can if you would like to. So let's plug this in. All right. The other thing we're going to need here is our probe. And this is what you're going to use to poke on the gemstone and see what it is. You do want to plug this in before you power on the machine. It's a USB. Okay. When you power it on, you'll see that it's kind of warming up right now. You can watch the green light up at the top. When it's ready, it will flash. Perfect. This will turn off after two minutes. It will go into sleep mode, or you can hold the power button and put it to sleep yourself. Another item you'll find in the box is this probe tip oxidation removal sheet. Here we have a tiny little probe tip that's made of copper. So this could oxidize over time in between uses and you do want to make sure that you are cleaning that before you use it. You can also see that this is extremely thin. This is 0.48 millimeters and the smallest in the industry. So what we're going to do is just place the probe tip on the sheet, apply some light pressure, swirl it around a little, now what I'm going to do is test this. So here we have our two tester buttons. This is for the simulant and this is for a diamond. So I'm gonna hold this on simulant and it should go into the red zone here that says Cal for calibrate. And that's how we know we're good. You can also test to make sure that this is working accurately for diamonds. So the diamond section will be blue here and this should light up blue on top as well and it does. So again, we're good. All right. I do just want to clarify that the machine is fully calibrated and no further calibration will be needed. The simulant test that we ran here is just to check that the oxidation has been removed from the tip and that you're getting the clearest read you can get. It is important too to note that you want to fully depress the tip onto whatever it is you're testing and leave it there for about two seconds. So here we have a bunch of different gemstones and I'm going to test a few of them. So let's grab this pink one. And my guess would be that this is probably a quartz. So I'm going to put the tip of the probe on there. So this has stopped in the section that says quartz, citrine, and amethyst. Citrine would be more yellow and amethyst would be purple. Let's test another. This has a deep red color. I'm suspicious, I believe that this is probably a garnet. Let's see. Yep, it is. The needle is here in the garnet tourmaline iolite section so I can pretty much confirm my suspicion that this is indeed garnet. I also have some jewelry here. I have this very fun blue stone here. I'm not sure what it is but I think. <laughs> Let's just see. Looks like it's right in the topaz and blue topaz is pretty popular so I would believe that this is blue topaz. I got one more thing to play with here. This is purple. Purple always brings to mind amethyst for me, so let's see. Yes, this is in the band there that says quartz, citrine, and or amethyst. Now you will notice too, if you slide off and you end up hitting metal, this will shout at you a little bit and beep like crazy. So if you have a diamond that isn't really diamond and it's just a chunk of metal, this will tell you. <laughs> All right, so speaking of diamonds, if you're trying to buy something and you want to make sure that it really is a true diamond, this is where this will come in very handy for you. With advancements in lab-created stones, it is getting increasingly more difficult to determine if something is a diamond or if it's moissanite or if it's a lab-created cubic zirconia or whatnot. So you do want to be able to test that with your probe. 
Martha is reading very clearly as glass, so I know this is not a diamond. With the tiny size of this probe tip, you are able to test diamonds as small as 0.01 carat. This is supposed to be a diamond, so let's, let's check. Are you ready, John? It does read colored diamonds too, so I do know that um, some other things do say they'll test colorless diamonds. This has been treated with a lot of heat, so it is a black diamond, but it will still read that as well. If you're looking for something portable and you're mainly looking to test diamonds, we also have the Smart Pro Reader 1. Let's check this out real quick. Again, we have the same case here. It's a little bit hard to protect the machine. And here she is. So this one is battery powered. You wanna use three AAA batteries that are not included. All right, so the power button is on the bottom. Turn this on. The entire screen is LCD and it will read to you exactly what it is. So this will tell you if it's a simulant, a moissanite, or a diamond. Take this off. And there is our tiny probe tip. And I do know that this is a diamond, so let's test this really quick. Diamond! You can get both the Smart Pro Gem I 1 and the Smart Pro Reader 1 on pmcsupplies.com. And remember, free shipping. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe for more videos.